watching WZDX Sports. A huge game taking place today on the Hill. With the win and some help, Alabama A&M would still be in the running for the SWAC East Division title. But uh, that wouldn't come easy today against John Hendrick and the Jackson State Tigers. We will pick things up in the second half. It is 23-20, to 20 and Jackson State, they stick with their rushing attack. Jordan Johnson taking the handle, and watch the speed on this guy right here. Number 17 just outruns everybody on the 51-yard score. Jackson State now on top 30-20, to 20. but Alabama a and m is fighting hard and fighting tough. Jordan Bentley taking the rock, following his blockers, breaking a couple of tackles. He's into the end zone for a score that cuts into Jackson State's lead, making it now 30-27. to Next Jackson State possession, Jalen Jones steps up in the pocket. He's stripped by Marquise Price. The ball is loose. This is still a live ball, everyone. Marcus Cushing eventually picks it up and rumbles 53 yards for a Bulldogs touchdown. Alabama a &M takes a 34-30 lead. Now Jones does make up for his mistake on that previous possession with this calling his own number and he runs away from the AM defense on a 51 yard TD scamper 43 to 34 with five minutes left to play Jones had nearly 400 yards of total offense and four scores AM will score one TD to make it 43 to 41 then under a minute to play Akil Glass hits Ryan Stoves and with a last name like Stoves you know he's got to cook up something well how about a touchdown right there that's the game winner as Akil Glass 410 and four scores on the day Alabama AM scores a comeback victory by final of 48 to 43. Our last four games come down to one play. And I said this game right here probably gonna come down to one play too. And it was. It, it came down to one play. So um, it shows the parity in this league um, how even all the teams are. The top team from the bottom team is a couple plays, a couple players away. So we gotta come out ready to fight every week uh, for 60 minutes. Let's take you to North Louisiana now where Grambler was hosting Alcorn State. Pick things up in overtime. Alcorn down by three. Corey McCullough attempting a 43-yard field goal. It's up and the kick is no good. Grambler State upsets Alcorn State by final of 19 to 16. It's the Braves' first conference loss of the season. So with that Alcorn State loss, Alabama A&M is back in the race for the East Division titles. Let's go ahead and show you these East Division standings as we talk about them right now. The next game between Alabama A&M and Alcorn State will be for first place in that division. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. next week on the reservation.